So this is uh, the water reading for the December 19th version of Elements of Spirit. And exactly as I suspected, every time I do a water reading, it gets really juicy in here. <sighs> Ooh, <laughs> shade. Um, so water brings my attention to the knees. Um, the knees are, uh, you know, a fixed hinge joint. They have to do with forward motion. Um, they tend to break down in um, those of us, or we tend to have knee issues when we're struggling with ego issues, um, and especially with change. Um, how do I move forward if the options that I once had, let's say when I was in my 20s, um, are now not available to me in my 50s, 60s, 70s? You know, there's a lot of knee stuff around. Wait, what does this mean about me? How do I move forward if I've got something wrong with my knees? Um, so the reason I say shade about this is because it's like, um, uh, check your ego water signs. Um, there's, I'm, I'm processing this for myself at the same time. Let me come back here to you. Um, so the message here is like, don't let rigidity cause stagnation in yourself. So it's saying that there's some element of us, of us water signs right now, that are holding on to the water that we have, holding on to the emotions that we have, sort of holding on to our feelings, being like, I feel the way I feel, and it's never going to change. Um, it's, it's a stubbornness and obstinance that's actually happening here. And um, uh, that kind of rigidity is what leads to calcification and tension in the knee. So the idea here is, is, is that the water element is saying, let the flow of water into these knee joints. Let fluidity into your rigid ego structures. So this is actually a week where we have to check ourselves, where all of you water signs, we have to check ourselves and make sure that we're not sort of like like nursing old wounds and relying on those old wounds to let us stay the way that we've always been. Um, water likes to change, it likes to flow, but because of the intensity of emotions, which are associated with water, that change and that flow can be very um, extreme and intense. So we can stagnate because the, the change or the flow gets really intense. I'm talking more about Scorpios here, but um, uh, uh, no, it's true about Cancers and Pisces. Pisces just doesn't realize that it's happening and Cancer, you know, um, says that it's not happening, uh, but it is. Um, so the idea here is that what, what, what we're doing in coveting or holding on to old emotional wounds or dynamics that support faulty ego structures is that we end up cheating ourselves out of true presence. We end up cheating ourselves out of new insight into our situations. Um, you might be the lover that you always wanted to be. Um, you might have accrued enough insight um, so as to be able to forgive the other party in a situation that you've been waiting for forgiveness, uh, in a situation in which you've been waiting for forgiveness. So the idea is, though, is that if you are obsessed with what happened then or what you did or didn't do, then it prevents you from looking at what's going on now. Maybe, you know, you don't need to nurse that wound anymore because you're already stronger than you think. But if you're nursing the wound and relying on the comfort that that, that wound or fragmented idea of self or um, a broken version of self, if you're relying on that for comfort or to encourage you to not change, um, they're not even saying that that's a problem. They're just saying you're missing out really good information, which is right there if you choose to look at it, which is that you're, you've come much farther than you think. Um, you've come much farther than you think. 
Um, you have more experience than you give yourself credit for. The strength of your sensitivity for all water signs has calibrated you to be able to let go of old wounds. And remember, I've, all, I've said this before, I don't like it when people tell me to let go of things. So what I would say to you is embrace new insights. Um, consider that if you look, ah, going back to our initial reading, if you look at things as they are, if you take the reality check, what's going on in my relationship? What's going on in my family? What is the new information that I have about my mother, father, sister, brother? If you look at that information first, and then you ask yourself, what do I really want out of this? Maybe you don't want a perfect relationship with your family. Maybe you don't care if you ever have sex with your husband again. Then don't worry about it. But if you want it, if you acknowledge things as they are and admit what you want, you can then turn to yourself, to your own perspective for insight into things as they are right now. You can get more information, more insight. And what, what I'm receiving about this is that that insight is going to make you realize that you're better off than you thought you were, further along than you think you are, and that you actually have something to offer to the table, maybe even the family table, that has nothing to do with your wounds or your ego structures. Um, uh, I am open to insight. <laughs> That's our affirmation for the week. I'm open to insight. Thank you so much for this water reading. I will see you next week.